is a 2004 Acura TSX. My uh, both my headlights not working. You see my headlight is on. Let me show you. See the high beam is working. But let me turn off the high beam and you see both of my headlight not working. See that. And I did a diagnosis and I wanted the video I will post it on the link how you go find out the problem is and my problem is the igniter. So I bought some from uh, eBay or you can get from Amazon. First I will do is remove the clips that cover the top of the bumper. I have two uh go on here but here you have uh, one two three four five you should have six here seven eight nine ten eleven remove eleven of this just like this get a screwdriver and then tie those out Like this, okay. So the next things to do is remove the top cover on the bumper. And rip up the, uh, the thing here. Fly it out like this. Okay. So remove the bumper and both sides of the wheel. Right here, so you screw right here, get a small screwdriver like this. And I screw it, make sure you don't lose it. Okay, same as the other side. Okay, at the bottom of the car, right there, clips all around. Like this one there, and there's bow two of them, one over here, and one over there. And just remove that clip here, and there's another clip here, there's one over here also. And then there's a bow here, and another one over there. Okay, remove those. So I remove all the clips and the bow on both sides. And uh, now it's time to take out the bumper. So there are wire under there so you can actually you cannot totally remove it. So to remove the headlight there are four bow holding it. One here. One then lift this up. One there. One on the side. And one you need to get extensions. Right there. Okay, so Remove those both. Use a 10 mm socket to uh, loosen it. To take out, we need extensions like this.
So now you can move the headlight out and unplug the wire. One here. One here. And one on the side here. One here for the uh, HID. This one. Right there. And clip it. the whole headlight. Replace the igniter is inside here. You have to uh well mine's broken here so you may have to take out the uh, the, the screw here. You may take it out. So you turn it kind of chloride here. You may need to do two hands because it's kind of tight. Like that. Take it out you see the igniter inside here. After you remove the cap, you see the igniter here. Next thing to do is remove the ballast. They hold by three screw here. So remove those screw. The Phillips screwdriver. And you pull it out. And this wire holding it. The, uh, the clip here, unplug it, and take out the ballast, and now you can uh, remove the igniter right there, first take out the ground wire, and then Turn kind of chloride and remove the whole thing here. This is the one I got from eBay. Mine is broken, so or you can buy it from Amazon. So first put on the ground wire, and when you put it on, don't put it on like this. Put it on like that because we see you see the differences here. And put it onto it. This one there, right there. You need that. So put it on like this. Next is the igniter to the uh, light bulb. Push it in, turn it clockwise. Okay, turn it clockwise. Next thing is plug this to the uh, ballast. This way. Okay, that's the uh, the wire from the car. Next thing you do is connect the ballast to the wire. Okay. Turn the headlight to see it works. Now it works. So I need to put it on my car. So now it's the time to install it. So you have to here. You have to go through the hole here and come out the hole here. Okay, so we come out here and try to make room. 
and then on that to the ballast. Make sure you click and get the wire in properly. Screw it in here. This three hole. Don't need to be too tight, so you go to plastic. It's secure, so time to put it back, plug it in, like that, first. Otherwise, if you put it up there, you won't be able to plug it. Time to put the screw back. Remember this one here? The Phillips head. Next one, put this in. Don't tighten it yet, just align it first. Next one, put the uh, one here. Last one is right there. You need to use an extension. Okay, now it's time to tighten it. Don't need to be too tight. Tighten the top. Don't need to be too tight. This one. And the side. Enough that the uh, it won't move. Okay, that's the headlight being put on. Next, you put the bumper pack. Thanks for watching.